Varanasi, the holy city of India, is also known as Kashi and Banaras. For centuries, Kashi, the city of eternal peace for Hindus, has been known for its fine quality silks, mouth freshener, and Banaras Hindu University. One of the seven holiest cities, Varanasi is the oldest living city in the world. Varanasi is more than 3000 years old and is famous as the city of temples. Varanasi's legends go back some 10,000 years to the oldest epochs of Hindu literature, including the Puranas, the Vedas, and the Mahabharat. They say Varanasi is the city of Lord Shiva, who walked here with his wife Parvati at the beginning of time. It could also be the battlefield where the god Krishna set fire to a duplicate but imposter Krishna, or the place where the Lord Rama came to do penance after slaying the demon Ravana. By the second millennium BCE, Varanasi was a seat of Vedic religion and philosophy and was also a commercial and industrial center famous for its muslin and silk fabrics, perfumes, ivory works, and sculpture. It was the capital of the kingdom of Kashi during the time of the Buddha, who gave his first sermon nearby at Sarnath. Varanasi remained a center of religious, educational, and artistic activities as attested by the celebrated Chinese Buddhist pilgrim Shanzang, who visited it about 635 CE and said that the city extended for about 5 kilometers along the western bank of the Ganges. Varanasi has the finest river frontage in India, with miles of ghats, or steps, for religious bathing. An array of shrines, temples, and palaces rises tier on tier from the water's edge. The site receives more than a million pilgrims each year. In addition, thousands of domestic and foreign tourists flock to the city annually, and tourism-related activities constitute a significant component of the local economy. Rajendra Prasad Ghat, still considered an extension of Dashashwamad Ghat, was once known as Ghoda Ghat due to a stone statue of a horse that once stood here recognizing the ten-horse sacrifice. The statue was removed in the late 19th century and relocated to Sankat Mochana Temple. In 1979, the Ghat was renamed in honor of the first president of India, who held the position from 1950 to 1962. To truly experience the beauty, wonder, and power of the Ghats and the Holy Ganges River, I'd highly recommend not skipping a Varanasi morning riverboat ride. This boat tour is a combination of a boat ride and a walking tour of the southern part of the old city to explore the cultural diversity of Varanasi along with the oldest live site in the whole of Varanasi. No trip to Varanasi is complete without a sunrise or sunset boat ride of the Ganga or an exploration of its historic winding alleys. Morning boat rides on the Gangas are perfect for witnessing the majestic sunrise and the rituals performed every morning along the Ghats. Experience the best views of the Varanasi Ghats from the water. Witness rituals performed by Hindus on the Ghats during sunrise. Enjoy the sights of the Varanasi temples and buildings as the sun rises. The boat ride is a great choice for small groups and families. If you are traveling solo or as a couple, then you may be grouped in with other travelers. This helps keep the price low. 
Of course, if you'd prefer a private robot tour, you'll need to pay extra. However, if you're in a larger group of 6 to 8 people, the chances are that you'll get the boat to yourselves. The ghats on the great Ganga riverfront at Banaras are unquestionably the city's most iconic and celebrated image. For thousands of years, these ghats have been the center of religion, culture and commerce, offering an unrivaled panorama for visitors to the city. A ghat traditionally constitutes the southern end of the conventional city and is the last of the major bathing ghats still to have its clay bank. Originally the Ghat was much larger until it was split in the 19th century and included what is now Ganga Mehel, Revan, Tulsi and Bhadeni Ghatas. Today it remains one of the most spiritual Ghats with the Panchatirth and Haridwar pilgrimages both requiring a stop here. Bathing here is deemed very auspicious as ancient texts describe a sea as a small river that flowed here into the Ganga. All Varanasi Ganga's river boat trips begin at the Agreed Ghat, where you will board your rowboat and meet your guide. You will then be rowed out onto the Ganga's river to admire the beauty of the temples, ghats and golden sandstone steps from the water. Your boat guide will explain the significance of each ghat and talk you through specific Hindu ceremonies and customs. Your boat will also row by one of the largest ghats in Varanasi, the Assi Ghat. Here you can be lucky enough to witness the incredible Ganga Aati from the Ganges river for sunrise. After approximately two hours, you will disembark and head for Vishwanath Gali. This is the most famous street in Varanasi and surrounds the holy Vishwanath temple. The tour ends back at the river banks, where you are free to either head back to your accommodation or continue exploring the nearby ghats.
Kedar Ghat features heavily in the Kedara Kanda of the Skanda Purana and is home to the Kedareshwar Linga, one of the 14 most important lingas as designated by the ancient texts. The original temple of Kedar is located in the Himalayas on the banks of the Great Ganga. The Puranic texts describe how Shiva established the linga there before creating this one in Kashi. Some scholars believe the origins of this temple may date back further than the original Vishwanath temple in the city. In the late 16th century Kumara Swami, a devotee of Dattatre, built a monastery attached to the Kedareshwar temple. A Gahadavala inscription found here and dated to circa 1100 AD refers to a Swapneshwar Ghat that once existed near here, the exact location of this is now unknown. Centrally located along the string of ghats fronting the Great Ganga, the Shashmad Ghat is probably the busiest of all the ghats and is often referred to by tourists as the main ghat. According to the myth related to Divodaza, Lord Brahma performed the ten horse sacrifice, Dasa Ashwamedha, at this site. Priests sit under bamboo umbrellas conducting various rituals and rites for pilgrims during the daytime, and in the evening the daily arti ritual is performed here.